Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels for ESO Web TV. I join you today from the Azorian island of San Miguel, where we're talking about radar altimetry. There's a symposium on 25 years of radar altimetry. With me is Marcello Passero, and he's from the Technical University of Munich. First question, what is radar altimetry? How does it work? So radar altimetry is a system we use to observe several parameters of the ocean and uh, surprisingly works in a simple way. Uh, we just send pulses from the satellite towards the sea surface and then these pulses hit the sea surface and are reflected back. Now if we know the time that these pulses um, take to come back to the satellite, then we can also know the distance between the satellite and the sea surface. And since we know the orbit of the satellite very precisely, then we take away this orbit by differentiating this orbit from this distance, and what is left is the sea surface. And that's one of the parameters we're interested in when we study the ocean. So of course this technique is used to look at sea, sea level rise, sea level change. What about coastal areas? Well, coastal areas have been pretty challenging to observe, and you can actually see why, because when you illuminate with this radar pulse an area, and not just a point, you are hitting not only the water, but also maybe boats or land or water that reflects a little bit different within, within this area. So um, the first thing we had to do when watching the coast was to change the way we have to interpret this kind of signals. And, um, once we have done that, then what we're going to do now is also to exploit this. And the importance of this is that the coast is where we live. It's where we have our cities. And so when we look at sea level rise, we might have want to have a global point of view, of course, because that's a way to observe climate change. But then what we want to know is what are the consequences for our daily life. And that's why we want to get close to the coast with satellite altimetry as well. And looking beyond oceans and beyond the coast, what are some other areas where we could use radar altimetry? Well, coastal altimetry has been a challenging area. So what we want to see now is other challenging areas. We have done already progress on that, but I would mention, for example, small inland water bodies, like small rivers or small, small lakes, or also another very important point for climate change is the sea ice covered ocean, so the high latitudes of the Arctic and the Antarctic Ocean. Okay, well, Marcello, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And to our viewers, remember that to learn more about space or about our planet, you can visit our website at www.isa.int.